I am now smack in the middle of convention prep and I've spent the last quite a long amount of time just counting prints and making sure that I have everything that I need in my suitcase because it's the first time I'm flying to a convention. So I actually need to be careful with the weight of my suitcase and the limit is not how much can I physically handle to carry and lug behind myself, but it's 20 kilos split over two suitcases or not split 20 kilos each. So I have 40 kilograms to work with, which is a bit less than my suitcase normally weighs. So I have to kind of be a bit more selective. And what I have spread out in front of me is all of the A4 prints. So A4 is this size and I have enough of each, of a bit less than I normally take, maybe around, it's five to 15 per design, just because I have so many designs. And I have them in multiple sizes, just right underneath here. It's the smaller size, it's the A5, these are A4. Then I also have A3 and A2, which I still need to count, but I'm taking a few less of those each just because they're heavy. And now I need to see if this fits in a box and then I continue counting the next stuff. But yeah, there's some designs here that are actually really old. This one is the oldest one that I currently still have in stock. And I'm probably gonna repaint it sometime because this is from 2019, early 2020, I think. Still pre-pandemic pre 2020. And then the newest design I have is the, the cherry, the spring monkey. Although I'm actually working on the summer version now because we have winter and over here we have fall with the, the samurai cat. And then the festival monkey is spring and there is a ninja bunny coming for summer. So yeah, back to counting. Hello, I just arrived at the Expo Center, as you can tell, it's really loud and I can already see some cool activities going on. A few other artists have, it seems like, already finished setting up their booths. And now I have mine. Now let, let's, let's walk back to it. I have mine over here. It is this one. They managed to mess up my name again, but I have my suitcases and the tables and it's time to, to set up. And after all that, we finally arrived at the hotel and I think my helper and I are both very much done for the day. It's been quite an eventful Friday since it's not a very long flight. It's around two hours. It's a bit under two hours, but then it takes another hour and a half to get from the airport, the, the southern airport in Brussels to the Expo Center because the Expo Center is at the real north. I didn't quite account for. I thought it would be quicker and online searches said it would be, but the bus kind of was very slow. So we ended up at the expo, had to walk all the way around it to get the entrance because the entrance was on the other side compared to last year. And now we are set up and ready to go. We will get ready for day, day one actually. Today is Friday, it was just a setup day. The convention is absolutely massive because they even split the artist alley in two, there's the main hall at the center, and then there's, I think, 11 additional halls, which are like huge rooms filled with dealers, vendors, and artists, and activities, and stages, and what you, you have and what not. No, I cannot speak anymore. It's very late, and I'm very tired. But last time, at the spring edition, which I'm not sure if there's a vlog for it, but you can see lots of stories on my Instagram highlights and on my TikToks, um, 
all the artists were together and this time they split into the Comic Con side and the Made in Asia anime manga Japan pop culture side. And I'm not quite sure why they did that because most of us have an art style that kind of fits in both. I mean, I'm very much supposed to be on the Japan side and I'm happy that I am there, but others who do predominantly anime fan art were put on the Comic Con side and we didn't really have a say in that at all. So yeah, that's what we did. The table is finally set up, it looks good. And we set it up in a way that it's very easy to dismantle again because we need to leave very early on the Sunday to catch our flight back. I think that's enough rambling for the day. I'm happy everything fit within the weight limits. That was a struggle, but luckily they didn't check at the Ryanair terminal or when boarding that both our backpacks were a bit too big and our suitcases were a bit too heavy. But the lady at the counter for the suitcases just did not care. She was, didn't even activate the scale and just kind of pushed them through. And luckily on the way back, we won't have that problem if all goes to plan because then our suitcases will be significantly lighter. Fingers crossed that that does not go poorly and we have to take all of our merchandise back. But yeah, I think it's time to go to bed. We had food at the Asian restaurant next to the center and the hotel is directly opposite of the expo. So it'll take us a grand total of maybe 10 minutes tomorrow to get to the con, which is a good amount of time at most, maybe five minutes which means people, the VIPs can get in early, the VIPs can get in around nine. I think regular ticket holders can get in either 9.30 or 10. I have the program over there, but I am too lazy to check, which means we don't really need to rush at all. We can take our time, take it easy, sleep in, or maybe do some funky makeup. You will find out. And I haven't moved much since the last clip because it's the next morning and we are ready for the convention. One of us is going to head to the supermarket so we don't have to exclusively buy expensive corn snacks. But otherwise, we're ready to go. It is currently 7.40 and the convention opens at 9, which means we have more than enough time to walk over, you know, those five minutes to get to the convention center and maybe like move and tweak the setup a little more. But this is... The makeup for the day, it's very clown chic with the clown pants. And that's I think all I need to say. I'll show you my setup in detail now. See you there. And we are at the convention and even though a few people around me are still setting up, our booth, well, my booth, is ready. So we have the square prints. These people can just take or if they want the full set, there is a discount and we have those prepared behind. We have the Pokemon postcard sets. These only exist as a set. You can't get them individually. I have mystery bags for the first time just because I have so much stuff to to give away. I have pins, so many shiny pins, and we managed to move the light in a way that they are nice and shiny. As you can see, there's a few already sold out, but most of them I still have at least one of chimes. Let's turn them around in a way that they sparkle because that's important. Socks, I still need to make a price sign. That's the last thing I need to do here my box of prints and there's even some original ink paintings in here, ink drawings, sticker sheets, A5, smaller prints, 
washi tape and then all the prints on the back. So yeah, this is my booth for the convention. And what I do now before there's too many people here is quickly walk through the artist alley. There's a few artists here that I find quite banal, but there's uh, Prosperi Art, a friend of mine with a bunch of stickers next to me. And then let's have a look who else is here. We have Liam. And the day is finally over and most people already finished clearing up because they were just gone very, very quickly. My booth is already mostly empty. As you can see, there's no more stuff here and everything else is tucked away safely all the way over there. But today was kind of disappointing. It did not go as well as I would have hoped or liked. It was kind of iffy. And now I have not a lot of hope, but a bit of hope that tomorrow will be significantly better because that's what I kind of need to make this trip worth it. I did sign up for the spring edition again, which is early March. So that's where I will, I will come back, but not with a booth like this, but with a booth like this, a corner booth. So I hopefully have more space to actually properly sell things. I, I hope at least that's the, that's the plan because now I did not even break even and we only have tomorrow left and tomorrow is an even shorter day than today. So I'm a bit worried. But now a bunch of artists, friends, we're gonna head to the Ibis Hotel and eat there at the bar. So make it easy, make it a bit cheaper because we all didn't make that much money. So we're ready to go. And this is my wonderful helper. Helper, say hi. Hi. Ah. Hi. <laughs> As you can see behind me, the con has officially properly started. It is half, I think it's 11, 10 30. The con opened at 9, but for the first hour and a half, there was absolutely nobody at my table. And I haven't had a convention that's been going quite this poorly in, in so long. And what isn't helping whatsoever is that the artist alley just looks and feels dead. I mean, it's 10.30 and there's artists who aren't even here yet because I'm guessing they noticed why bother show up. There's artists who never even came, which is even worse and more sad. There's artists that we love and support and that should 
get more love and support. But overall, it just feels deserted. And for an event that tries itself as the biggest in Belgium and huge and two worlds combined, Comic-Con and Made in Asia, we have empty booths and empty booths. Oh, and empty booths. And I'm not sure if they didn't manage to sell them, if people just didn't show up. I'm not sure what the problem is, but whatever it is, it does not feel like a proper convention. There's no no like convention spirit. The people kind of just aimlessly walk around. Yesterday I saw a lot of people leaving very, very early, which is unusual because there's actually a lot of things you can do today. I mean, there's karaoke going on here, but that's also very low energy. So yeah, as you can tell, I'm not super, super happy with the way things are going and neither are really any of my fellow artists that I know very well and we discussed it at, at dinner yesterday. None of us are having a great, great showing. So no idea what's going on there, but it feels not great. We are not, not happy. Yeah, I have now made, gone a big round and I can see there's at least people in the artist alley now. I mean, still people I can count on like two hands, which for such a big event is not great. But here we are. <laughs> and here's where we'll be for the next several hours unless I decide to wander around again because I am bored. <laughs> 